What Manchester United and Man City have to do to realize their Champions League dreams. The Champions League resumes on Tuesday as 16 teams look to another step towards Madrid in June. After all four Premier League clubs advanced to the knockout stages, chances of the competition having English representation deep into the tournament is high. But standing in their way will be 12 other teams from six different countries. The likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona are obvious favourites, but dark horses such as Lyon, Atletico Madrid and Borussia Dortmund also lurk. We have compiled the runners and writers for Europe's premier competition, and dissected the tactical battles that await Manchester United and Manchester City if they're to lift the trophy in the Spanish capital. After winning the Europa League last season, Diego Simeone's team have returned to the Champions League with a pedigree of European champions. His team are renowned for their hard-working and efficient defensive style, but it's worth noting that the talent in the squad is almost unrivaled. Players such as Antoine Griezmann, Koch, Saul, Jan Oblak, Thomas Lemar and Diego Godin are included to name but a few, and the former finalists will ultimately pose a tricky tactical threat for whoever they face. The Spanish side have the third best defense in the tournament according to expected goals, having been expected to concede just 4.59 during the group stage. Cristiano Ronaldo is attempting to be the first player to win the tournament for four consecutive years, having moved to his new club in the summer. Now at Juventus, the Portuguese has continued where he left off in Madrid by scoring decisive goals regularly as he's currently the top scorer in Serie A with 18 goals. The opportunities to score have been manipulated by head coach, Max Allegri, who's adjusted the play of his team to include more crosses as a means of utilizing Ronaldo's aerial prowess. Real Madrid are the only side left in the competition to have hit more crosses than the Turin side, with 161 to 126. Ultimately, the current Juventus team consists of seasoned pros and the side have mastered the art of winning. The Italian champions will certainly take some beating. Arguably one of the weakest remaining teams in the competition is Schalke. The German team managed to progress from perhaps the easiest group in second place behind Porto, and face the intimidating prospect of Man City in the upcoming round of fixtures. Schalke are currently as low as 14th in the Bundesliga but interestingly have one of the best defences in the Champions League based on goals against, with Dortmund the only remaining club to have shipped less. Those figures indicate it could easily become attack versus defence against the English champions. Last season's finalists pose an interesting threat as the tournament progresses into its latter stages, having evidently moved up a gear in comparison to their level of performance in 2017-18. The constructive additions of Alison Becker, Fabino, Nabikata and Zerdan Shakiri in the summer have contributed, but as well as improving their quality, Jurgen Klopp's Reds have also become considerably more streetwise. Liverpool can now control matches a lot more effectively, and the defence is now capable of withstanding pressure unlike in previous seasons. As a result, the Merseyside club are now a lot more complete and are surely one of the contenders to reach to final in Madrid. A team that have perhaps gone under the radar so far this season is Bayern Munich, the current champions of Germany. The Bavarian club are currently positioned second in their respective league behind Borussia Dortmund, and they only clinched top spot in their group ahead of Ajax on the final match day. Despite that though, Niko Kovac appears to have finally settled things in his debut season in charge at the club. Interestingly, they earn our second behind only Porto when focusing on their eagerness to press. In terms of passes per defensive action, PPDA, which focuses on how many passes a team allows before essentially moving to regain the ball, they earn allow just 7.8. To compare with last 16 opponents Liverpool for example, their figure in the season's tournament is 10.3. One of the dark horses of the competition is Lyon, the French outfit that Guardiola's city side struggled to handle on the group stages. The two sides drew 2-2 in France, with Lyon winning the earlier contest at the Etihad by two goals to one, meaning that they would have knocked the English champions out had it been a knockout tie. The side are coached by Bruno Genesia. And there's an emphasis at the club on bringing through youth talent, such as Hausamuar. 
That trust in youth has ultimately resulted in a highly entertaining team being formed, including the likes of Tang Gaidamel and Nabi Fekker. Lion are behind only Real Madrid, Barcelona, Men City and Juventus for shots taken in the tournament, so this is a team that could easily cause a few upsets moving forward. Surprisingly, Barcelona haven't won the competition since the 2014-15 season. In fact, the team haven't progressed beyond the quarterfinals since they last won it. Despite that though and largely due to the influence of Lionel Messi, Barcelona are considered as one of the favorites to lift the trophy every single year. This season, that is very much still the case, with Ernesto Valverde into his second full season in charge at the Camp. The team are currently six points clear at the top of La Liga, and they eased through their group by finishing top without sustaining a single loss, even though their group was tough. The Catalan side have had the most attempts on goal in the tournament so far, with 118 alongside Real Madrid, so it's likely that an admirable defensive display will be required to defeat Messi's men. Last season's surprise semi-finalists Roma, appear to have another opportunity to progress into the latter stages with a relatively easy draw against Porto. The Italian side are currently 6th in Serie A and they progressed from Group G in 2nd place behind the holders, Real Madrid. Despite their average domestic form though, Roma have a squad full of exciting attacking tools, and they ranked above the likes of Real Madrid, Napoli, Lyon and Tottenham in the group stage in terms of expected goals, XG. The only Portuguese side remaining in the tournament is FC Porto. Impressively, Sergio Conceição's team are the third top scorers in the competition so far, behind only Man City and PSG with 15 goals. They're also well drilled defensively though, with a narrow shape that forces teams to attack using the flanks. Overall, the current league leaders in Portugal should perhaps be considered as one of the underdogs but with the potential to progress into the latter stages. PSG currently sit top of Ligue 1 with two games in hand and a 10-point cushion over second-placed Lille, therefore all of their attention will be switched to progression in this season's Champions League. Despite this being their seventh successive campaign in which they have reached the round of 16, they are yet to match their 1994-95 achievement of reaching the semi-finals. In fact, PSG have lost at this stage in each of the last two seasons. That being said, Thomas Tunchell's men are the competition's leading scorers this season with 17 and remain one of the favorites to lift the trophy in May. Domestically, Spurs remain on the coattails of Manchester City and Liverpool in the race for the Premier League title. However, they only just escaped Group B in this season's competition. Despite having just one point after three matches, Spurs managed to pip and turn to second place behind Barcelona to reach to knockout stage of the CL for just the third time. Tottenham under Pochettino can never be written off, but he will have to improve on their record of never winning a home match in the CL knockout rounds, D1-L2, if they are to have any chance. Dortmund have enjoyed a prosperous domestic season so far and are on course to beat Bayern to the Bundesliga title. Lucien Favre's men's success has been largely built on solid defensive foundations this season. With an impressive tally of just two, they have conceded the fewest goals in the Champions League so far. They can also boast the highest number of clean sheets in the competition this season, five, suggesting that only a strong attack can break down their resolute defense. The Dutch powerhouses have reached the last 16 of the Champions League or the first time since 2005-06. Along with Porto, Bayern, Barcelona and Lyon, they are unbeaten so far in the competition. They won their first five games before a 3-3 draw against Bayern on match day 6 resulted in them finishing second behind the German club in Group E impressively. Eric Ten Hag's exciting young side are the sole team still involved who came through qualifying stages, the other 15 qualifiers exited at the group stage. Despite a turbulent domestic season in which they dropped as low as 6th in La Liga, Real Madrid have climbed back up to 2nd and closed the gap on Barcelona to just 6 points. On the continent, they remain kings of Europe having won the previous three tournaments.
The holders come alive on this stage and have been semi-finalists or better in each of the last eight seasons. This is the 49th European Cup campaign for Los Blancos, nobody has featured in more than them. Ronaldo scored or assisted 51.51% of Madrid's Champions League goals last season before departing for Turin in the summer. In his absence, Gareth Bale has stepped up significantly. The Welshman has been a key figure in this campaign and has directly been involved in 41.66% of their CL goals so far.